Hello, and welcome back to MLB The Show 19 and the Jason Parham Road to the Show. I'm Tyrant Saber. Last time out, Jason faced off against the Chicago Cubs in Wrigley, Wrigley Field. Pitched for seven innings, allowed two runs on seven hits, including a Addison Russell home run. Collected eight strikeouts and got himself a loss, unfortunately, because his Phillies just could not get the bats working in that game. So it sucks, but we are going to keep going out here got a bullpen day looks to be what do we want to do cut velocity slider break yeah I guess uh, fielding might be the thing to do just cuz bunting um I mean I have been bunting more recently something to think about I guess 12-6 uh, control or durability pitching clutch uh, hmm let us let us go ahead and what do I want to do? Let's do the fielding practice because Jason can be a help on the bait on the field instead of a hindrance. That would be awesome. And a clubhouse day, just you know, cause. Kevin Purvis. You're a good player, but we need your best out there. We need to get you back on track. And that is going to bring us out here against the Pittsburgh Pirates in Citizens Bank Park. Now, Jason has faced off against the Pirates a grand total of seven times. He has a 2-1 record against them, a 2.23 ERA, and a 199 Woba. So like to see Jason's uh, alma mater, the team that drafted him. like to see him at home, and i like to see them on the losing end of today's line. So let's get out here and get it. From Philadelphia, MLB Network is live from Citizens Bank Park tonight. Game two of this three-game series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Philadelphia Phillies. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Jason Parham gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, not a bad start in his last one. Seven complete innings. Even though he took the loss, he pitched pretty well. And if he can pitch as well in this one today, he'll have a pretty good chance to win this game for his team. And that'll bring up Franchi Cordero. He'll get us started in this one. Under the right here. Let's go. All right, let's get started out here. Call is for a fastball down and away. And that's what we'll give him. And the first pitch of the night here is right on the black bottom of the zone for ball one and that's how the game gets started 707 p.m. here in uh, Susan Bank Park six of their last nine yeah Maddie V hey Dero talk about it fastball inside at 95 and that's strike one 54 degrees here in late April in Philadelphia so looking forward to another great day of baseball this is a big game today Another fastball, this time below the zone for 2-1. Lays down a bunch of all things. And fans on the field there from the third baseman, and that is going to put him on base with a bunt single. Franchi Cordero. Puts himself on the base Only the fourth time he's been on base, base against Jason, or the fourth time he's had a face off against Jason, but he has excellent results. 750 average, so he's hit three for the four times he's been on base, plus a home run for one of those. You know, small sample size and everything, but this is definitely one of the best players or some of the best contact that anyone has had against Jason in his career. First delivery to him on the way. Counting, in fact, the guy, uh-oh, slides under the short, uh, shortstop's glove out here. And that is going to be another base hit to start off the uh, top of the first. Right 
So he misplayed that one a little bit. Fastball away for number one. Strike number one. Kevin Lane coming up here. Former uh, Baltimore Oriole, so he used to face off against Jason quite a bit. 40, this will be plate appearance number 40 against him, against Jason. Swung on and missed a curveball down in the zone for strike two. I just think after seeing both those pitches right there, 96, you have to be on the fast. That one's right at the shortstop. This time he doesn't miss. Barehanded flip to the second baseman. And that is going to be a double play here from Kevin Lane for two outs, top of the first. Still got a runner on third, but it makes things a lot easier for Jason. He's not producing at the plate like people expect him to. I don't know if it's the pressure or if it's just baseball. Sometimes you go through struggles. That is going to bring up Lincoln Cheney, who I, I want to say he used to be on the, uh, the Braves, but it's been a while since I have actually... Looked him up. And that is going to be a slider down in the zone that he takes through the gap on the right field side of the infield. And that is going to be another base hit. So three base hits. Franchi Cordero cashes in on a run, and it's one nothing. Pirates up in the top of the first. It keeps everybody involved. That two out RBI, I know it's early, but that just the gives Change it up away now, taking it 83 for strike one to Colin Moran, former teammate of Jason, traded from the Pirates to the Padres with Jason for Denilson Lamette back in the day. And then, through a series of strange events, he went back to the Pirates. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. So, the only one that the Pirates haven't got back from that trade is Jason himself, and he grounds out to first base to end the inning. But three base hits gets the Pirates one run on the inning, and that is going to bring up the Phillies to try to play some catch up. And, in fact, they're going to do so. Two runs in the bottom of the first, so Jason is back on top, top two. Here comes the first pitch. Jose Asuna for the Pirates. Fouls off curveball of down one. and in for strike one. They had up there. Fouled Fouls off. off a fastball up in the zone for strike two. Calls for a fastball inside. He starts swinging on it, but they're going to go ahead and call that a a uh, say that he held up in time for ball one, and that is not going to help him too much because he strikes out swinging on the slider down for strike three. Floyd Witt, Carlos Flores, Victor Gutierrez, and Brian Shibuya on the infield. Cortez Otska Gall outfield. Chance Cisco's putting down signs and on the bump, as usual, Mr. Jason Parham. Brings up Taylor Garcia for these Pirates. First time he's faced off against Jason. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball down in the zone at 94 for strike one. Playing here in his age 26 season, he was taken in the second round back in the draft of 2019. Yeah, Fastball pumped in there at 96, swung on and missed for strike two. An absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Fastball down and in, strikeout swinging. Strikeout number two on the day for Jason, and that's the second out of the inning. So second inning going rather better for him than before. That trust and works off his fastball right there. He decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. And I'll bring up. Uh, what is this guy's name? Ronald Torres, as distinct from Ronald Torres, former New York Yankee. Two home runs and five driven in. Curveball to the outside, or excuse me, to the inside corner. 
five left side of the plate, and that is strike two. Working ahead in the count. This is a tough matchup. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Fouls Behind off the, the fastball up and away. Jansen. Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, D Road. Not a very big zone, but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. Fouls You're off okay the curveball low in the zone. Player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. Swung on and missed, so three, three batters, three strikeouts, end of the inning. Jason coming up to bat, bottom two. Phillies are up two to one. Not exactly hitting up the storm here in this part of the 2027 season. 167 average for Jason. We got Bob Elliott on the play on the mound for these Pirates. Doesn't ring a bell to me. Yeah, Matty, I'm, That's I'm not what really I intended there, Jay. Team, especially on the recent road trip to start to it. They're three and one after four games, playing really fundamentally. And, and <laughs> whatever it's worth, he gets tagged out on the base paths like a nincompoop. Really and that is going to be the first out of the inning. Nice. He got his feet all the way around the first, which allowed his hips and everything else to clear for an Come accurate on, throw to the inside of the bag. That and it was real quick, too. A one ball, two Fastball inside. That one seemed like it tailed a little more than I expected it to, but maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just bad at batting. Maybe I just have a terrible eye. And maybe I shouldn't be playing this game. Maybe I should stick to pitching. Bob Elliott up to the plate, so it's time for a little payback here. Not much you can do with that pitch. Fastball up in the zone at 95, strike one. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse. Fouls off a fastball down and away for strike two. And now the changeup. Line down the left field line. Fouls that one off, stays alive 0-2. Going to go up and in with him. Cutter swung on and missed. Straight Four straight strikeouts for Jason, and that is the first out of the inning. So turnabout's fair play, and Jason faces off again against the top of the order. Franchi Cordero up this time. See if he tries to bunt his way on this time. Change up, swung on, and that is strike one. Another change up to the outside corner this time, and that's strike two. We'll go up and away. Swung on and missed. That's five strikeouts in a row. Second out of the inning. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout. And with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Standing in now, Julian Cortez. And Fouls off the fastball on. up and away, and that's strike one. Hey, here we go. Hey, you got it. No the wind up go. and the 0 1. In front of the change up, up down and away, down in the zone the for strike now. two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Away. I might be wrong, but it sure has felt like a change-up strikeout, a change-up fastball type game. Smoked on the ground. That one's grounded over there to third base. Brian Shibuya manages to get in the way of that one to keep it from going to the outfield. Holds him to a single, and that is a base hit with two outs here in the bottom of the third, the top of the third. Kevin Lane back up the for the East Pirates. Fastball to the outside corner, and that's strike one. 
This is where you got to take hey, stock in the situation. Batting. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing left, one, one, one. the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line. Jason's got that one. Oh. Little chopper in front of the plate, and that is going to end the inning. So Kevin Lane can't cash in that runner on first, and the Pirates are still down after three half innings. Going to the bottom of the third with the Phillies back up to bat. Leading off the inning, Lincoln Cheney. It's now four to one here, top four. Here, Lincoln Cheney back to the black plate. This one, they're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on. Cutter get a big inning start. taken Hard down the heart of the plate, and that is down. strike one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Yeah, misses oh, one. Shoots the corner on that one, but misses, and that That's is ball one. Pitch right there, that two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. Fastball right on the outside field. half, and Oates he got, flies out to center, right center field. Jared, uh, Eric Oates got out there to get it, and that's the first out of the inning. So the Colin Moran back up. And that will bring up Colin Moran. Colin. Ready with Moran. the first pitch. Here it comes. Left side. Grounds that over to third. Brian Shibuya's got it, and that'll be the second out of the inning. So, top of the fourth going quickly here. And here comes Jose Asuna once again. Cutter down and away. Fouled off. Strike one. Four to one, our score as we play inning number four. Curveball fouled off, and that is strike two. Now the fastball below the zone is the call. Catches it on the blacks for another 0-2 pitch. Another 0-2 coming. Off the inside corner for, for ball one. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use. We'll go ahead and give him the sh later. Showtime Put slider the or just the... Get him out with yeah, we'll go ahead and use Showtime. Might as well. Swung on and missed. Strikeout number out. six on the day for Jason, and that is going to end the Down inning. In order go the Pirates. They trail it four to one. Stepping up to the plate, Jason Parham. All right, Jason back up to bat, bottom four, still up four to one. To him on the way. So start to the at bat as he misses badly there. It's one out here and nobody on for Jason after that clumsy swing. And he waved right through that one. Oh, he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out. And of the just get and off the plate. Making sure that it goes. Let somebody with better bats, bat skills get on there. Brings up Taylor Garcia once again. Down for out number two in the bottom half. Garcia. Now the pitch. Up and away to Fastball up and away one taken. Right, ball one. On. Another one up and away. This time hits the corner for strike one. Curve ball below the zone. Called ball two. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Hops this one up. Fouls that one oh, off. Land on touch. So that's a 2 2 count. So we'll go down in the zone with a two seamer. Fouls it off in the dirt, and that's another 2 2 pitch. The 2 2 one more time. Hit in the air to straight away End center. of the bat, Oatska. out to center field. Eric Oatska's got he it, and that is the first out of the inning. The catch for the first out. And by all rights, I probably should have given him so the old dance special, but regardless, so the the first out of the inning the brings up Ronald and Torres and once again. Finds himself in a flat-footed tie for the Ronald. National League lead in that category. Right. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Well, and this is low. Curveball down. 
ball one. Here in a four to one on. ball game. Put him away. Back up the middle. Dig, 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 dig. Change up. Grounded up the middle, and that is going to be a base hit for Ronald Therese. Puts himself on first with one away. And here comes Bob Elliott. Going to try to lay down a bunt. So sacrifice hit for... Gets the bunt down right there. Bob Sometimes Elliott, and that'll put the runner on second with two outs. Instead of making that throw to first base. And that brings Franchi Cordero back to the plate. Now the left Into the box, Franchi Cordero. Nope. Misses the zone with a uh, changeup. Ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. A 1-1 one, one count to the Pirates' leadoff. Fastball to the outside corner, and that'll even the count. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Cutter inside. Catches the inside part of the plate. Strike two for a 1-2 count. A to drive it a run. Gonna have to make something happen with two strikes now. Misses. Curveball close on the outside, but taken for ball two. But he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit. Another one below the zone, and that's a 3-2 count. So we'll go ahead and use Showtime here to get that change up to the outside corner. But he takes it. Strikeout number seven on the day for Jason, and that is going to end the inning. Philly's still up, 4-1, to one, going bottom five. We'll see if we can't maybe add on to that score a little more. Here comes Julian Cortez. Doing all right for himself today, two for three on the, or two for two on the day so far. Still up, four to one, going top six. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Try to check it in its own Goes one. reaching for that fastball away, and that's strike one. Hey, come on, big dog. He's pitch. And he Curve ball one outside, one. and that is ball two. Hey, or ball one, excuse me. Shoots the corner with the two-seamer inside, and that's strike two. Such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did. Change up below the zone, taking 2-2. He's not hitting over 300 by luck. So we'll try to shoot the corner. his own strengths. That Made contact on it, but that's just out to Eric Oska in right center, and that is going to be the first out of the inning. Bringing up Kevin Lane once again, 0 for 2 on the day with two ground outs. Fastball, outside corner, strike one. Change up, take, and ball two, or strike two, excuse me. Not looking good after being down 0-2. I think at the very least you got to go up and in with the two-seamer. Pops it up, first base, Floyd Witt jogging over to get it, and that is going to be the second out of the inning. Lincoln Cheney coming up, one for two on the day so far. Almost, Matty, almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's fastball down, down the pipe, 96, and he fouls it off for strike one. Drive it out of the yard, this A.B. Curveball, center heart part of the zone for strike two. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be Fastball away, fouled off. Stays alive, 0-2. once more change up away stays alive again we'll go up and in with a cutter this time 
fouls that one off. So let's go with the slider down below the zone. Lays off. That'll be a one-two count. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down. Right at Floyd Witt over there at third bit or first base, and that is going to end the inning. So Jason staying alive here. Top six still up after the top of the six, still up four to one. One run allowed on three lead off, or three singles to lead off the first, but very little in the books since then. Colin Moran coming out here, top seven. Oh for two so far, but come by them honestly. In need of a quick inning ball here, but dubious call there from the, the umpire for ball one. Awfully frustrating for a pitcher. You make a close pitch like that that just barely misses. Ooh, Fastball up in the back. zone, taken. Strike, taken Strike one. The zone. Fastball off. away, fouled off. That's a one-two pitch. The one-two. Now the pitch, curveball below the zone, strikeout number eight on the day for Jason, and that'll, that'll be the first out of the seventh. That we saw yesterday, they were looking like the 27 Yankees 24 hours ago, but they've been held in check so far in this one. That's kind of how baseball goes, though. Jose Azuna coming back up. Jose Azuna. Jose. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball up and in, but misses the zone for ball one. Fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off-speed pitch. Fly ball out to left center field. Julian Cortez out there to get it, and that is the second out of the inning. And that brings up Taylor Garcia. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball, top of the zone, strike one. We're in the seventh now. Four to one, our score to this point. We'll go down and in with the fastball. He fouls that one off. We're in an 0-2 count. And now's as good a time as any to give him a go. The Jason Parham welcome to the major leagues with the old ant special, the high inside curveball. Let's get it. Take him, Jason. Why would you do that to a man? Strikeout number nine on the day for Jason, and that is going to end the inning. Get up and stretch here in Philly. It's the Phillies four and the Pirates one. So coming down the home stretch. Digging in, Jason Parham. He's been great on the mound. Phillies are up four to one here. Bottom of the seventh. Take this at bat. Yeah, man, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the... Cutter, wow. A little bit of Frisbee action on that from Jonas Nunez for these Pirates. 20 pitches so far in relief for them. Slider. That one just seemed kind of flat. Strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's got himself. Into that was a good one to hit, but only managed to foul it off for a two-one count. The two-one home. Waves. Cutter up above the zone, and that is swung on for strike two. Stop working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting the front foot down. No one's getting. The and I just managed to foul that or to pop that one up back behind first for the first out of the inning. Going top eight. Six outs to go. Let's see if we can't hold these guys in check. Only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. The pressure's off now. Change up Maybe inside. No balls in one strike. Fouled off. Or, or taken, rather, for strike one. Perhaps I should change the channel, because it sure seems like I'm seeing a different game right now. Strike two swung on at 97. This one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, two, one and, two, and fouls off the curveball. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. 
Here comes another 0-2. And Foul, a cutter up and in. That's strikeout number 10 on the day for Jason. Second strikeout on the day for Ronald Torres, and that is first out of the inning. Bringing up pinch hitter Gregory Polanco. Number 25, Gregory Polanco. Below the knees, one ball, no strike. 33,586 people here in Citizens Bank Park. The Phillies thank you for your support. Polanco's got a pretty good history against Jason. Well, we all know he's not in his career. He's a 333 numbers, hitter in 12 plate back. appearances. But hey, I give him credit. He's really got a 417 right slugging, here. good for a, a 750 OPS and a 322 Woba. Here go right now, fellas. The 2 1. And Curveball floated a little bit on the outside corner, but that is strike two. Come on, big guy. See it. Drive it. Right here now, the 2 2. Change up away. Just managed away. to to fight that one off. Hit on the ground. Chopper over there to third base. In time to first, and there Brian Shibuya's got it, and that is the second out of the inning. Franchi Cordero getting a fourth plate appearance against Jason today. Four outs to go here. Fastball sails a bit. That's ball one. And that's a fly ball out to right field. And that one is going to fall into Jared Gall's glove to end the inning. So eight innings come and gone. Phillies up four to one. Jason only allowed the one run. And we'll see if they trust him with the ball going into the ninth. In fact, they're going to give it to Cal Crick, their closer. Nine games, a 0.00 ERA on the air, so I feel pretty confident about that. But I guess it's all going to be in his hands now. Three-run lead. Let's see if he can hold it. Survey says... A little bit of a rocky start for Jason, but I'd say he finished that one out strong. Jason pitches for eight innings, allowed one run on five hits, collects ten strikeouts, and gets himself the win. He goes to four and one on the year, and he goes to 121 and 51 in his career. His ERA has gone to 1.37, his FIP is at 2.24, and his XFIP is at 2.80. So that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I'm Tyron Saber, and I will see you at the ballpark.